Hi Capricorn, it's Lulu. And uh, let's go ahead and put this out here. I apologize for the delay in your greeting. We did try to go live a few days ago and that didn't work out for us. So we are doing the pre-recorded. Thank you. Now then, any information that you need is in the description box darling. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. I have been trying not to do these readings late in the day. However, here we are. So, let's see if I can not be too explicit. Okay, because it's been some real deep stuff that come up. Okay, and right now people are going through a whole lot. Please keep in mind that the monthlies have a playlist, so you can look in the playlist on the community tab. The playlist um, will also have the meditations that are used in um, the readings. You can find those meditations over there, um, as well as the spiritual advice uh, playlist, the Saturday Night Live playlist, and the weekly Mudra playlist. Thank you. Now then. One more time, please. Angels, what do you have for Capricorn? Okay. Ooh. So. Whew. Okay, Capricorn. Now, there may have been a lot of things on your mind, okay? And you haven't been able to move the way that you want to, of course. But you haven't been able to make things happen the way that you want to. You haven't been able to get things done the way that you want to. So there may be... Um, a space you may move into the space where you take three steps and then you you stop three steps and then you stop but you had ten planned so let's see what they're talking about <coughs> that okay let me hold on up and show you hold on the first card out is patience <laughs> so the first card out patience right to everything there is a time and a space right um, there's no need for you to <clears throat> worry about certain outcomes if you can't make certain moves or if there is something that you, uh, a plan that you implemented or some, a, a certain type of strategy that you wanted to um, have play out, right? You wanted the, to get to the outcome um, at a certain time and that was, you know, you've been sidetracked or what have you. They're saying here that there's um, certain details, um, certain things that you will need to wait for, um, answers to. You may even be in a space where you are thinking about certain things and having certain fears and they want you to just chill. Many of you need to get back into your body wisdom. Maybe you aren't um, seeing that it's when it's time for you to rest and when it's time for you to move. Like with that rest comes recovery, right? And on a cellular level, it's very important that you take those type of breaks. That's what they see it right there. Now, so you have patience, the moon card, and yin and yang. So that yin and yang is moving you into a meditative state. In that med meditative state, it's going to be important that you balance that masculine and feminine energy. It's important for you to come out of a space of overthinking or having fears overshadow the things that you need to do, how you need to do things. And you see what I mean? Um, I also feel that it's going to be very important in the coming uh, days, actually, whenever you watch this. It's going to be very important for you to take your break, your goddess or God break, right? Take your spiritual break as needed here because there's a lot of um, clarity coming in that type of uh, meditation. And some of you, um, you, you would want to check your chart to see if um, salt baths would really be beneficial to you um, at this time. And you also want to um, go within, use that inner guidance, your inner witness, right? Use that to um, ask for a number so that you will be able to do your best for a certain amount of days or at a certain time, because I think that's important for you as well. What is this patience for Capricorn? Maybe you are being patient and waiting for um, something, a, a release from your job, but this is the emperor. So you may be um, wanting to take charge or wanting to do things in a certain matter, but you have to be patient. Show life. Now, because I don't know. Now, may having to use your patience with someone who um, may come off as overbearing, maybe um, needing to just, you know, detach from your emotional, um, there may, okay, okay, okay. So, 
I feel like some of you may be going through um, a lot of emotional um, luggage is being unpacked at this time. And it may have something to do with a father figure or someone who is older than you, a male. Um, I also feel, yeah, this is someone that may have raised you. So, um, this, it, it, okay, so you're walking away from any type of um, habits or any type of beliefs that you have when it comes to your, to authority figures, when it comes to what is authority to you, really standing in your um, authority, but also respecting other authority as, uh, authoritative um, figures as well, you see, and not being so emotionally um, drawn or drained by these things here. Some of you may be patiently waiting to walk away or get away from someone in order for you to find true love. Now, y'all got five cards. Yep, waiting. Four of elixirs. You're waiting. You're waiting for um, something to... Uh, you're waiting for the right time to walk away from a situation that no longer serves you. You're waiting uh, because it just feels as though what you thought you wanted, who you thought you were, who you thought you wanted, who you thought they were, is no longer what you... Uh, yourself want anymore so now you are seeking and open to um, new, new love or um, something a deeper emotion a, a, a deeper connection right um, what is essential when it comes to emotional um, connections right or just a new beginning overall something that you can take to the next level so there's two of cups right so you may even want to some of you may be walking away from one person and, and veering off into the world so that you can manifest someone new or meet someone new here yeah and I feel like you may have blocked someone may have blocked a fire sign or standing in your truth and moving forward with your passion moving forward and taking on challenges while you are moving not being too fearful just knowing that you are standing in your truth and ready for what you truly want what does your heart truly desire here with this Knight of Wands and this Seven of um, Wands. Um, I feel that once you come out of this um, stagnant space or this space where you feel like nothing is moving the way that it should or how it should, and you are, go you are going over um, what, what things are to you, what, is it, what, what does it feel like, what does it look like, right? Um, what would make what would solidify a relationship or what would solidify um, what you are working on or working towards if it comes to work or um, creative projects or what creative pursuits or what have you right because I'm saying here that you just want balance right you want balance you don't want confusion right you are trying to avoid confusion you're trying to avoid any pitfalls moving forward and, and standing in what it is that you want, how you want things to go, where you want these things to go. How, how does it look? What is your responsibility? What is the other person's responsibility? But I feel as though you are very um, passionate here about how you want to move forward. Because there may be a fire sign coming in or someone coming in who you may... Um, not want to deal with. You don't want to talk to them. Uh, maybe someone who um, you feel took you for granted here. Maybe someone that you feel took you for granted or what have you. But I just, I really feel like you've grown or you feel as though you have grown, right? So you want to do things from a different perspective. There's a lot of detaching, a lot of seeing your true self and revealing your true self to the world. There's a lot of detaching from what was. There's a lot, because you have the attachment followed by, followed by the walking away, right? So what used to work for you is not working for you right now. Here. Trying not to act out of desperation. And that's where it comes into going into that meditative state, right? Um, allowing yourself to be protected by that masculine energy, but also just being the, the using that feminine wisdom to really get in tune or um, in touch with um, your feelings and, and what, what are the true meaning, what is the true meaning of the feelings, honey, right there. It may be a challenge for you. This may be something that is different for you uh, to the, in, the, in, the, in the regard of um, this is something that you may have, um, has been going on for so many years, okay? And so once you make up your mind, I feel like things will even out or begin to pan out for you, but it's going to take you some time, okay? I also feel that 
<clears throat> there are some, uh, some of you may feel inhibited or feel as though you can't do the things that you want to, but it's a, it's only a facade. Let's clarify it, honey. Because with this five, it's a challenge. It's, it's like, will this cause chaos? Will this cause a rift? Right? That four of wands again. Because this is, this is um, grounded. This is stable. This is, at least I know how um, this works type of energy. But how can I get out of this? How can the change be made? Trying to see things clearly but also not wanting to um, uh, make the wrong move, right? Clarify this Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. So you're taking, a, taking time to reflect, and that's what she's doing, really looking at herself, looking at who, what people possibly see her as, right? what people possibly see him as, right? And really taking a closer look at themselves and trying to figure out, okay, let me take a step back. Let me go into this meditative state and see things what they are. I'm not going to um, speak this way or I'm not going to do things this way. I'm not going to respond to certain shit. That's what that four swords is. Like, no, nah, I'm just going to wait a minute right here, you know, and see what's real. What, how do I really feel? What do my feelings, like taking each feeling and looking at it from a logical perspective, because these are two fours, right? So you're taking each feeling and looking at them from a logical standpoint and coming up with some type of move that you are going to make with this um, Ace, of, um, Ace of Rods and the Strength card. So you are uh, wanting the courage, needing the courage to break old patterns of behavior, needing that courage to step out and be who you are, how you are, right? Um, without feeling um, as though you are leaving someone behind or just because you've grown or learned something new, you can do this without having to worry about it. However, doing the work first. Because there may be certain types of beliefs here there may be certain types of beliefs or certain type of uh, mental constructs that uh, you don't know if you will have the, um, the ability to really um, make changes, right? Because there is a change coming. We'll get to it in a second, but there is a change coming. Yeah, temperance. So balancing of the, um, the, the upper and the lower, balancing of the left and the right, right side of the brain um, being able to um, come to a space where you are um, coming from the heart and the mind to make your decisions right what are the heart's true desires what does the heart really want um, really again taking soft tolerable control not going off and you know acting a fool not going off and um, doing something um, impulsive right not wanting to but also not wanting to these are this is this is huge for you i really feel like this is something that uh, some type of a rite of passage that some of you are going through thank you yep maybe you are trying wanting to balance this out with someone who you really feel um you're passionate about i really feel like y'all are dealing with a fire sign because it keeps coming out leo sagittarius or aries but it's really in the space of um, having the clarity and confidence to really move forward, having that clarity and confidence to really make a decision that is well balanced, well thought out, well constructed. You're putting your strategy together, and then you're going to walk away and move into this newness. But there's a lot of balancing. There's a lot of personal balance here. Because <clears throat> I feel like there's some major decisions that you have to make. And depending on the circumstances, I really feel that um, once you you know that once you assess this, and if you decide to walk away, um, this may um, cause a riff. Ooh, eight of wands. Six. Yep. You want to be fair. You want to make sure that you're doing the right thing, right? You want to. Um, this may even be uh, something to do with having to have surgery. It may have something to do with. Um, Having some pins removed from your hip. Having some pins removed from your leg. Okay. Now. They're saying that when you, I feel like once you, okay. Once you make a decision to um, move away, walk away, just let it go. It's time for you to let it go. It's time for you to heal on, on one end. Because, you know, when, when, um, 
if it if it has to do with a person, family member, whoever it is, if it has to do with a person, sometimes you have to. It's good to um, see the divine in them. Okay, because you know you can't change nobody's mind. You can't live for them. You can just let things be what they are and keep your ass moving, hmm? because your peace is very important. But I feel like once you make this move, things are going to begin to unwind rather quickly. Once things really begin, like there's some type of communication coming in possibly that is going to help uh, with the finances. So there is some money coming in that is owed to you here. You got the strength card twice. So it may be that this is this challenge that's coming in for you is something that is going to bring you into the fool's journey. You're unsure of everything and how it will work out, but you know that it's going to work out. Thank you. Ma'am. You've been getting some nudges, some pushes from spirit. Okay, angels, gods. Okay. You've been getting some nudges about releasing. There are some things that should have been released one, two years ago, 10, 20 years ago. But now you are ready to, um, you're looking at things differently, so you're ready to move into this new space. And the space is filled with a lot of love. You can't go wrong with, with a lot of love. You can't go wrong. Now, you can't go wrong. I'm also seeing here where by um, removing yourself from certain situations, maybe be traveling, relocating, um, or just getting away, right? By doing so, whatever this is, this movement that comes in, um, I really feel that this is going to bring some type of stability, right? You're going to feel more grounded moving forward, right? Um, because you've went over all of the details here. Y'all got a lot of fives. This is massive change. Excuse me. Because of all of this that has happened here with these fours and these fives, right? And you're unsure, like there's some unpredictability here. There's some, some reason to really question how this will work. What does this look like on the other side? I just really get that a lot. Now, let's move forward. What is this? Maybe dealing with the Libra. Capricorn here. Okay, so Capricorn. All right. So there may be, um, when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to you um, um, having these uh very healing feelings with this Ten of Cups. This is a lot of healing. But this is just um, taking into account what you've been through, um, what has gone on in your life. How, what is that, um, how does that translate into the future? The stuff that you've gone through, how does that translate into your future life? How does that work? Many of you are getting back with your family and enjoying yourself. Some of you may have recently gotten over certain addictions or, um, or have been um, trying to get yourself back together with some spending that you may have done or any, any type of um, overdoing right because everything should be done in moderation so any type of overdoing that you may have been doing or any type of toxic behavior or um whatever toxic behavior is to you right <clears throat> i feel that there's some type of completion with that right um there's something that is coming to the surface where you are going to be happy that you um did not go somewhere that you were invited even though it felt good when you heard um the, about the invite like okay i'm glad i didn't go something is emotionally fulfilling for you I got my hand on my hip. <laughs> I'm serious about this. Now, um, I also feel that um, when it comes to you, you and your passion, since you showed up here, yourself being in your full element, feeling back whole, feeling back one with the one, right? Um, seeing things for what, what, what it is, right? Seeing people for who they are. There's a deeper and more um, expansive expression or perception. Thank you. So <clears throat> being, you know, harmony, dreams being fulfilled, um, wishes being granted, right? So I really feel that once you are um, confident in establishing yourself here in the world or in your world, right? And you come to this space where there's a lot of balance because they are putting in a lot of, like, um, 
uh, take most things with a grain of salt type vibe. And it's mostly because they need you to, um, uh, with your du duality, get back to yourself, right? Working on yourself here. Wanting a commitment, but knowing that there's, uh, or wanting balance in your commitment, right? Um, I also feel, clarify this Ten of Cups, please. Yeah, there's an abundance of love and joy. Some of you may fear that things are about to that are going to be turned upside down, but there is an epiphany coming. It's here with the tower. Aries again. So, I think it's Aries and Pisces. I can't remember. Now then, um, there is something that is being brought to light, something that needs to be pulled from you. There is something that you've been holding on to. It may even be the residual energy from all of the things that you've gone through here that, where you had to sit and think and contemplate how to move through certain things, taking time out to yourself to really go within, right, and be with yourself for the most part, as you usually are, okay? Now, there may be a breakthrough in your relationship. There may be... Um, a space where you come to realize um, that with this overflowing emotion that you have now that you are back to yourself, this overflowing of emotion and, and love and gifts possibly from people around you, there's clarity coming, right? Something has to be break, broken down and shifted. There's a shift, a huge shift coming. <clears throat> What is this tower? There's a huge shift coming, and I feel as though with this shift, there will be something revealed about a number of um, something. It, it has to do with your family, because I was going to say your ancestors, a number of people who have crossed. But there's some type of shift that is coming. Like many of you are elevating in a space to a, um, ascending to a space where um, this has to be removed. Something has to be removed from you for you to really see um, that everything that you let go of, everything that, you know, because you make a decision before this actually happens to be really cleared out, right? And it may take three to six months before all of the energy is um, behind you to the point where the thoughts and the feelings don't, you know, still recur. You see, what is this tower called? Maybe with your mother, there may be some um, shift that happens with a mother. But overall, I feel here that it's very important to um, use that nurturing energy. If this is going, if something happens with the family, you may be called to the forefront. Um, you may be called to um, do things, um, th do something that is emotionally, um, would emotionally drain someone else, but you've already been fit for the job. They've already, you've already been trained for that job here. What is this queen of cups? And the tower. Yeah. There's a message coming in. Someone may be apologizing here. Someone may want to talk to you or communicate with you. Um, I really feel that um, what it boils down to, uh, oh, baby, these quarantine nails, it's the experiment, okay? Experiment 13, 11. It's some other experiments going on during the quarantine, but these quarantine experiment nails, okay? It's trying to see the value of the thing at hand. Is this really valuable? Apparently it is, almost a month in the hole. Now, uh, with this Page of Cups, I also feel that there's a potential for a new relationship, a, a potential for the relationship to blossom. But also this is um, an, an apology that has the potential to bring you and someone or someones closer. Um, this is someone who um, may be offering, uh, this may even be psychic insight or being more sensitive and trying to learn and work with your gifts as well. But I feel like that's an offer coming in. Someone wants to apologize. Uh, someone also here may be asking for your assistance because something happened to their home. Okay. Now. Moving forward. 
there's something to be seen um, if you use uh, crystals, um, crystal balls, water, whatever you use for divination outside of cards and um, uh, other types of talisman. I think this has something to do with the crystal that you will begin or you maybe you will begin to see things crystal clear, right? Of course, I said that, didn't I? Now then, whatever the confusion is, you, you shouldn't worry about it. Um, there's a lot of, um, some of you may begin to see lights, a certain type of lights, blurry um, light. Uh, this is too many cards. There may be here. But you don't know what you want to do and which direction you want to move. You may have two job opportunities. You may have three things, uh, three different um, opportunities uh, to reconcile with um, certain people. There may even be a space of um, trying to um, empty, right? A space of trying to empty. Um, yeah, okay. What makes you happy? What makes you happy? What makes you feel that you are needed here? What will make you feel bettered, right? Um, I also feel that many of you are looking um, in dream state. Things are being revealed to you in your dreams where you're not seeing um, in your waking in your waking hours you may be so busy or uh, distracted so you are seeing things in your dreams um, that are showing you what you need to what um, you need to get um, away from or rid of or rid yourself of before that tower hits okay right because you want so uh, something solidified you're trying to solidify something right you're trying to recenter with your approach but also i feel as well that um it's important okay so get get okay so you need to ground more it's going to be important for you to ground more when you are feeling off or you know do the five senses touch something look at something beautiful smell something that smells good right um, um feel see smell touch taste okay so that you can ground yourself here hmm. what is this strength card there may be a need to um there may be no oh, Emperor show back up. So there may be um, a need to take more control, right? But not control. Uh, well, just stand at the forefront. You got what it takes. I don't know what you're waiting on. They said... Okay, so some of you may be starting your own business or looking into ways to uh, start your own business. What is what is that? What does it look like? How does, you know, putting that together as well. But overall, many of you are taking on the father's, um, taking on the father's, maybe you're taking on your father's uh, side of the family when it comes to doing certain things. Yeah, you're taking, and it has to do with money. But you're taking some time back to really reflect, right? Taking some time back to, I said I'm going to never show that hangman, and I did. Whatever. I ain't had to ring the bell tonight. I like it. Now. Queen of coins, right? Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, but overall it may be you taking more of a stance when it comes to your home life, your structure, your stability, what um, do you, um, the things that you are grateful for, the things that you will appreciate, right? Because one side of the family may not be um, um, as grounded, or I can't say materialistic, but um, you know how there's always one person in the, not always but there's usually like one person in the family that stands out from the rest on one side of the family like they were the first to do this like you may be the first to buy a home or you may be the first to you know travel the world i don't know but it's something along the lines of that um just really going into your physical reality what does this mean how does this mean um trying to um work on your your money your health um, taking a step back 
from again people who may be trying to control you or tell you how to do things what is this emperor to capricorn Um, I feel as though this person may be trying to uh, make an offer, an underhanded offer to you. Um, very slow moving, not fully with the truth here. Not, um, okay. So this is, this night. okay. So someone wants to make an offer, right? But um, the way that they are doing it, they can't get through to you. So they're trying um, anything possible to try and get through to you, to get you to stay or get you to do things a certain way. It could be your job. And I'm seeing here, right, what I'm seeing here is that you, you want to do things a certain way, but you're really, you know, taking into account all of the details, not just a few. And you really want to establish yourself in a different way in the world, right? So what I'm getting is that, you know, you will be triumphant, you will be victorious. But also someone may be inviting you to um, have lunch or brunch here. It's your life. And there may be some type of block when you try to read this person. There may be some type of block with trying to get through to this person or try to collaborate or make things happen. Like you may have tried to work with this person before. You may have tried to get things um, to go a certain way before. And yeah, because that's crossing walking away. So there's a different perspective. There's a different way of looking at things. There's a different way of doing things, but you're taking your time and you're not really open to discussing certain things because of this um, offer that this person is making. This could easily be a job offer as well. Maybe you don't want to do the same type of work you used to because they may have told you one thing in the job description when you went and looked it up. It was totally different. Like, wait a minute, that is not what this person, like there was some type of conflict in communication, conflict in um, stability, right? But if it's a relationship, I feel as though you're like, you're no longer waiting. You went within. You're no longer waiting to hear from someone. You're no longer waiting for things to go a certain way. You're taking matters into your own hands. You removed yourself from the situation. You bossed up, right? And walked into the door of romance. Capricorn. Witch. Now then. Because there was some type of untruth that was revealed, right? And maybe um, someone thought that they got it over on the other person. Please remember that these reads can go both ways. I don't know why I got it. All right. Now, what is this strength card? There may be a female energy who um, really... Um, is pushing you or has your back in a certain situation, especially when it comes to um, how you view things, really wanting to motivate you and push you here. Very proud of you. Someone is very proud of you. You're, you are stronger than what you thought you were. Speaking your truth is very important. You may even go back to a situation, the lovers, okay? Made a choice, spoke your truth, right? Um, this could easily be you pulling in that um, feeling stronger with the lovers, feeling stronger in your position. And may, you may need some help, so ask for some help if you need it. But I also feel like all chambers of your heart are cleared and ready for love as well. So if you're open to love, it's coming, especially with this door of romance, the love is coming. Thank you. I should have did this live. Whatever. Now. What is this uh, angel of strength? Healing. You've done it. Wish fulfillment. Right? You got what you asked for. Now it's time for you to grow and expand. This is your vision broadening. Right? Um, I also feel with this star card that... Um, you may have thought that that was the end of the road for you, but once you made up your mind and things began to unravel right before you, it was like, boom, right? It's time for you to go after what it is that you want. Yep. Ooh. 
and be very direct in your approach. Be very direct and speak what it is that you want. Some of you are um, getting with um, friends and family and letting them know exactly how you feel about certain things, but you're coming from a space that makes total and utter sense. Now, whether they get it or not, that's going to be up to them because you can't make anyone, you know what I mean? But overall, this is just really um, standing in your truth with this Queen of Swords. Someone may even be asking for a divorce because they found out about a third party situation. Someone may even be um, finally discussing um, their how they view things as well. But also, if you have any type of, um, someone's case is getting thrown out of court. That's gratitude. Someone's case is being thrown out of court. Also with this Queen of Swords, right? With this Queen of Swords, this is uh, um, someone who is coming in to um, help yeah, that's what I feel, too. There is someone coming in to help heal a situation. They may be uh, speaking their truth about that or coming from a very logical standpoint. But you want to be mindful and make sure that the person isn't bitter when you get their advice or you talk to them as well. And also, um, when it comes to... Um, because what's under that is this. Red dress, red boxes. Okay? She's been coming out. Now, it don't always mean that. Okay? But on this channel, most of the time it does. Now this can also be getting going, um, healing uh, relationships and friendships as well, pulling yourself together so that you can um, be, so that you're more open to discussing things with these people, right? I think it's a third party situation though. Someone's wife may be coming in to uh, say some things, speak her truth. Here, let's see here. What is this Queen of Swords, honey? It is, well, it may be a third party situation or just a coming together of sorts when you are out and about or with this person, you see. But overall, if you are walking away from someone because you found out about a third party situation, I feel that there is nothing for you to worry about here. What is the um, advice for this Three of Cups? They want you to really enjoy yourself, go back into your childlike, um, you know, watch something funny, do something, um, dance, do some yoga or something like that to help you to continue to balance as you go. But overall, there may be that's the Knight of Cups, honey. So with this Knight of Cups, what I really feel is that um, some this person doesn't want to let you go. They want to offer you something solid when it comes to um, th their feelings because these are very strong feelings. Um, they say what they mean. They mean what they say. So you may be someone who is highly, um, they, they are choosing out of three people. So this can go either way. But you are deciding overall that a choice needs to be made. Yeah. And it needs to be made fast. There's no time to contemplate and, and try, you know, be confident with your choice and let's make it happen, right? Um, just, you know, whoever this is coming in, this may be you being very ambitious and focused on your projects, but overall, I really feel that this is someone who wants to make things right, someone who may be coming in. Now, some of you have two people coming in. You got a fire sign and a water sign coming in. It's going to be on you who you choose because one of them may try and flatter you, um, one may try to flatter you to the point where it doesn't feel real, right? But they just know what to say, how to say it. It may be a counsel, but they know what to say and how to say it. Then you have another one here who may just try to, you know, move in, move swift, okay? Maybe a hobo, uh, what do they call them, hobosexuals? Someone that needs to move in. So it's going to be on you to use your discernment here with that um, king of swords, but if the, I mean the queen of swords, but if that queen of swords is not you, <clears throat> this is um, someone who is going to offer you insight on your path, okay? Now, let me look down here. Yeah. So you will make a choice because I feel like some of you will wait to see if the person is who they say they are, who they claim to be. Um, again, look at this contract. Maybe a marriage. It may be um, you working with others. You see, but there is a contract, there's a connection. Someone wants to communicate the truth about a third party situation. Um, at the end of the day, someone wants to let people know that they're not making a decision because they don't feel like they have to and they're not going to. So, whether it's you or someone outside of you, it's up for you to determine. Thank you. What you gonna do? 
with this hangman, he is really taking a pause, but he's putting himself there. It didn't just happen. He put himself there. And the reason that he did, because he needs to figure out what does he want? How does this look? What, which direction does he really need to go? What is the, you know, what is the end result of taking that course? Now, y'all the first reading out today. And I'm tired of explaining to people that I'm a woman who has a moon phase. Something seems different about you. It's called a period. Can I just sit up in there so I can release all this shit but still help people? Y'all business ain't got nothing to do with me. I just give y'all y'all business, y'all advice. And I keep it moving, Susan. But no. Something seems out. You need to do this. You need to. You need to. Hmm? I did good. I don't think I cussed that much. Look at that. I grew up in a day or two. 